Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to make bullet journal slides using Google Slides. Okay, so for this, you're going to want to go to a blank presentation, and you're going to want to go to the view and select master, master view. So now we're going to go all the way to the end and click the last blank slide. And I'm going to rename it to bullet journal. And so now I'm going to take a text box and I'm going to make it, well, try to make it as long as the slide is. Okay. And so now with a period, I'm going to go period, space, period, space, period, space on the keyboard until I fill up a line. This is going to take a long time, so be patient. Okay, remember, okay, we're gonna try to go over here. So remember, this is supposed to be page long and sometimes the text box cuts off. So, okay, so now it's fully one. So now what you're gonna wanna do is Command A to select all, then Command C to copy. And so now we're gonna go space, paste. Oh, pasted it a bit too fast there, um, so. Space, paste, space, and so on until you fill a page. So now, well, if you don't want to fill a page, I'm going to go Command A again and copy it all. So then I just have to do less. Space, paste, space, space, paste. Okay, and so now what you're going to want to do is going to select all and so I found out that while doing this the to make the point looks the most similar to an actual bullet journal I like to use the font Patrick hand so you see but the only problem with this font is that it's small so I like to adjust the size until it looks good so around 18 I like it around 18 so now we're gonna want to go up. Let me try to adjust. We're gonna try to adjust to the page. Like that. And so now I'm just gonna move the excess. And that's the first step. Ooh, okay. So now I'm gonna select all. Wait. Now I'm gonna select all. And I'm going to change the text color simply because if you want to use it and you want to put writing on top of it that's not in a text box, it's going to look a bit off. So what I like to do is I like to use dark gray one to give it that effect. And this is how the final product shall look. This is how I do bullet journal paper. So now we're just going to save it you just exit and so now if I want to add something we see we have now we have a slide that says bullet journal paper and it's now there yeah and so that's it